Hello everyone, my name is Keely. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome to what I'm hoping will be a very ruthless unhaul. So I haven't done one of these videos on my channel before and I've done little unhauls here and there, but now recently I'm looking at my shelves and I'm not super connected to all the books that I own anymore and so I just feel like I should unhaul them. Especially thinking about one day moving it gives me a lot of anxiety thinking about having to move all of these books. So I'm hoping to go shelf by shelf and be brutal and ruthless and get rid of books that just no longer bring me joy. So I'm actually literally going to take you to each shelf. So this is kind of like a bookshelf tour without being a tour in a way because you'll get to see each shelf. And we're going to go through the books and see which books that I don't need anymore and that can thrive in a different home. Um, but yeah, I'm going to change and get into comfy clothes because I'm going to take you all around my room to each bookshelf and we are going to unhaul some books. Okay, so the camera angle's a little weird because I had to make you a little bit higher. But this first shelf is all of my Stephen King books. This is all TBR books. So I haven't read these Stephen King books yet. Look how pretty they are though. So I will not be getting rid of a majority of these, but there are two that I will be getting rid of. And that is this one right here, Gerald's Game, because I ordered these editions for this and it came in the wrong edition. And so when I reordered and got the correct edition, so now I have two copies of this and I don't like this cover or this copy. So I don't need it because now I have the correct edition as well as Dolores Claiborne. Same thing happened. These came together in the wrong ones, but now I have the right ones. So I do not need these any longer. And I believe that is all I will be taking off of this top shelf, but so far two down. Okay, this next shelf is a lot of middle grade. So I have all of my Rick Rowe Warden that I haven't read yet right here. So I will be keeping all of those. I have two Keeper of the Lost Cities um, and I'll be keeping these. And then a lot of these are like new books. These two are subscription. So like I'm keeping all of those. Um, a lot of these are newer. And then I have some more Stephen King over here. So I'm not getting rid of anything on these shelves yet. Okay, bringing you down a little bit to this shelf. So this one has a lot of fantasy that I'm still wanting to read. So over here, all the way over here, I have like the Delirium series and that's new and I still really want to read that because I will read any like dystopian book. Um, and then I have like two nonfiction, which I will keep those. Now here I have like Strange the Dreamer. And I'm thinking about doing a video where I read like the first book in fantasy series that I have to see if I want to actually read them or unhaul them because I just have a feeling I'm not gonna like Strange the Dreamer but for right now I'm gonna keep it. Um, I also have like the pretty edition that like you can't find anymore so definitely keeping that. And then all of these right here are Cassandra Clare books that I have not read yet so I will be keeping all of those. Um, and then I have Once Upon a Broken Heart and then some other books so I'm also keeping everything on this shelf. So, so far only two books gone. Okay, so I brought you down a little bit lower to look over this shelf because I know I will be getting rid of some of these books. So here I have the like mass market Lord of the Rings. And once again, although it's fantasy, I still really want to try to read it, but I don't know if I'll love it, but I want to try to read it because Lord of the Rings was the first fandom I was ever a part of at five years old. So I want to try to read like the original material. Attack on Titan. Listen, I would love to read this manga but I'm not going to collect all of these volumes, so I do not need volume one. So unhauling Attack on Titan volume one. Um, this one over here. The problem is I am interested in this book. This is Blood of My Blood by Barry Liga. This is like a serial killer book and like the cover looks amazing, that blood splatter. But um, I believe this is, yeah, this is the conclusion of the trilogy and I don't own the first two books. So I never am able to pick this one up because I don't own the first two. So I think I'm going to unhaul that one, even though it looks super cool. From this stack, I think I'm going to keep the rest. These ones, I have like some mystery, um, some Marissa Meyer. I'm keeping all of that. I think I'm going to keep the rest of this. So got two off of the shelf. So, so far book, four books, which is good, especially because those are also TBR books. So lowering the TBR. All right, coming down to this very last shelf. I will be probably keeping all of this. I have um, some nonfiction on here as well, but I have this massive tome that is an archive of vampires. So I will be keeping that for sure. And then I have like uh, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, I have Prince Harry's memoir. I have some Marissa Meyer books. I have some Anthony Bourdain books, which are nonfiction. And some of those are travel and about his time working in kitchens. 
Um, I have some Veronica Roth books. I have three of them actually, which I will be keeping those. Those are like sci-fi. And then I have a stack over here of like some YA ones, um, which I will be keeping. I love YA still. 28 and I will always read YA. Okay, trying to bring it up a little higher again so you can see this top shelf. Now we are getting to books that I have read. So the first shelf was all TBR books. Now these are books that I have read. So here, let me just move my little penguins out of the way. So here I have two horror books. They didn't fit on my horror shelf, so they're going right here. And I will be getting rid of one of them, and that is Little Eve. So I read this in January, gave it two stars. Um, I love this cover, and I would love to keep it because it's pretty, but I did not like it, so I do not need to keep it. I also didn't love Black Sheep, but I gave that one three stars, so I might unhaul it in the future, but I'm going to keep it for now. And then I have the Poison Study trilogy right here, and then right next to it, the Glass trilogy, which I... <laughs> have a love-hate relationship with. I love Poison Study. I love the first book in the Glass trilogy, but the next two just were not great. The second one was okay. It started going downhill for me though, and I hate this book. So I will not be keeping both of these, but I will be keeping the first book in this trilogy. And I'm just gonna have to get over the fact that I'm not gonna have the completed series, but I just do not want to look at this book on my shelf any longer. Now the rest of these books on here are all favorites. So I have like the Kinder Poison trilogy, um, the Electric Kingdom, the Unwind series, and then Stalking Jack the Ripper. So I will be keeping all those because I love them. And that brings me into this shelf. These are also favorites, so I'm not getting ready to any of these. So I have Carnival. I have another set of Carnival. Um, I have Wolf by Wolf, The Walled City, so like Ryan Grodden books. And then this starts like my Cassandra Clare stuff. Um, I have two vampire books, and then I also have From Blood and Ash, um, and a few Jennifer L. Armentrout books right here. So the interesting thing is, I am no longer reading From Blood and Ash, because I hated how the series started going, but I loved the first book. So I have, like, a special edition and the paperback. So, keeping everything from the shelf. So let's lower you down a bit. Okay, making a little pit stop real quick on this shelf. Clearly this is my Cassandra Clare shelf, so I will be keeping most of these. But I am going to get rid of one. And that is this paperback copy of Lady Midnight. It is pretty and I love the spine, but this is my least favorite series of Cassandra Clare's. In fact, I kind of hate the other two. I love this first book, but I really do not like the other two. So I'm not going to be collecting all of these in this edition. And I have the hardcover already, so I don't need to keep this one too. Okay, here we are at the bottom of this bookshelf. And this shelf, let me like take a look here. So we have like all of my Ransom Riggs books, which keep being for sure. Um, then I have Library of Shadows, which I am keeping. Um, the School for Good and Evil, The Book Thief, uh, Between Shades of Grey, City of Ghosts, and then my Wrath and the Dawn, like special editions. Love those, keeping those. The Kingdom, Girls with Sharp Sticks. Do I want to keep this? Hold on, let me, let me look at you for a second here. Girls with Sharp Sticks. Okay, so the thing is, I love this first book. This first book was really great, but I DNF the sequel. So I think I'm going to get rid of this. I don't think I need this. So getting rid of that, making moves here. I also have Hotel Ruby by Suzanne Young, um, which I liked it too, but I don't think I need to keep it. I have met Suzanne Young before, so I keep checking to make sure like to see if these are signed or not. Neither one of these are, but I did enjoy it, but that connection's not there anymore. So Goodbye to that one. This one. <laughs> Belladonna. Um, everybody loves this book. I am not one of those people. And the reason I still have it is because it's beautiful. Like, the cover, the naked cover, it's all so pretty. But I did not like this book, so I will be unhauling it. It is time to be ruthless and say goodbye to the beautiful covers. And the last book on the shelf, Light Lark. Um, this was one of those that I was highly anticipating, and I was kind of confused the whole time, but then also I enjoyed it, but also it was just three stars. So I originally was like, I'm going to continue with the series, but now that I've stepped away from it for a while, I'm not continuing. So also getting rid of Light Lark. So we did, we did some damage on the shelf. Like, there's some space over here now. All right, so very bottom shelf. Let's take a look. Okay, it's very hard for you to see everything that's down here, but I have a lot of Ellen Hopkins books, and I think I'm going to keep them for now. I love Ellen Hopkins. I haven't read from her for a while, but I think I'm going to keep them for now, maybe in the future. 
Um, and then I have like these three random books, but look, now I have space up here. I can move them. Um, so I have like Jacoby, Soldier Boy, They Went Left, um, which I'm going to keep those. I really enjoyed them. I'm actually going to move them up here now so they don't have to be randomly stacked because um, I have space. And then I have like Crave, some Nicholas Sparks, and then the rest of Throne of Glass. So I'm not keeping all Throne of Glass. If you saw my January reset, you would know that I am unhauling the majority of that series. In fact, I actually have books next to me that I'm unhauling from my January reset. So just quickly, if you did not see, I'm unhauling the Akatar series in the original covers. Um, I never read them, don't plan on reading them. And then I am also unhauling these Throne of Glass books. The other Throne of Glass books I enjoyed, so I will be keeping the ones I loved, hated these. So <laughs> those are going goodbye. So, so far, two shelves done. We're making progress. Let's move on to the third. Okay, third bookshelf. <laughs> This top shelf are pretty much books that I enjoyed, but a lot of them I don't remember. So I don't think I really need to keep them. Um, a lot of these books are young adult thrillers. So let's let's go through them. So of course, the first one is not a young adult thriller, A Flicker in the Dark. Keeping that, this top one is one of my favorite books. I just read it and I love it. It's The Invocations um, by Crystal Sutherland. So I need to find space for that because it's just like awkwardly up here. So the last word. I didn't love that one, but it is a Taylor Adams arc, so I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer. How to Survive Your Murder, Love, Sadie, Love, this one. She is a haunting. This is another book that, just because it has a beautiful cover, doesn't mean I should hold on to it. Because I hated this book, but it's so pretty. But I'm going to have to let go of this one, so R.I.P. So moving on, I have a finished copy and an art copy of Where Darkness Blooms. Love those books. I'm actually going to take Harry and Voldemort down so we can see. Um, the Night We Burned, Graveyard of Lost Children, Find Me. Those are all books that I really loved and they're actually not even young adult. I told you this is all young adult and so far like hardly any of them have been. So this next book, um, Good Girls Die First. I can't remember. This is one of those that I'm like, I don't remember. Mind Games, Deception, Murder, How Far Would You Go to Survive? Okay, this is at an amusement park, but I do not remember it, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is actually an ARC. Well, who knew? So I'm not going to be selling this one, but I will be unhauling it. Okay, this next one, How We Fall Apart. Um, this is an ARC copy, and I actually remember enjoying it, but I'm not continuing in the series. I don't even know if the second one ever came out, but I will be unhauling it because I just, I don't have that connection. I don't need it. Next, I have two Natalie D. Richards books. Um, I'm going to be keeping those for now. This next one, um, The Girl in the Headlines. I don't remember this one once again, so I will be unhauling it. All right, now we have The Perfect Place to Die. Look at this cover. This is one of those that has a beautiful cover, and I actually enjoyed it, and I do remember it. So I will be keeping that one. After that, I have The Good Lie, um, and then A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, which I hated the third one, but I don't think I'm ready to break up that series yet. So I'm going to be keeping all of them, even though I hated the third one. Um, Holly Horror. This is another arc and it was beautiful, or the cover is, but I didn't love it. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it, but I won't be continuing with the series, so I don't need this one either. Now we have The Grimrose Girls, which I will be keeping, and then we have The Dry and Force of Nature, which I will keep The Dry because I really liked it, but Force of Nature did not like this one, so I will unhalt this one. Alright, let me switch sides. <laughs> Over here, um, the last few, we have Wrong Place, Wrong Time. Love that book, keeping it. Mexican Gothic. I'm not as obsessed with it as a lot of people are, but I did enjoy it, so I will keep it. Next, we have The Cabin at the End of the World. I love this cover, and I actually ordered it from the UK so I could have this cover, but I didn't like it, so I will be unhauling this, and I will be unhauling this one, which this one, The Primrose Path, is really hard for me to say goodbye because I got this in Wales when I went there in 2017, so this is also kind of like nostalgic and a souvenir for me but I also really didn't love this one so I'm gonna be unhauling both of these and the last book on here is Blindsided by Karen Slaughter love that one so I will be keeping it so we have unhauled a lot from the shelf and now I can move the invocations to its own little spot we're gonna put it here amazing okay moving you down a little bit to this shelf there's probably gonna be nothing on here that I'm unhauling so I have Alex Michaelides over here and Alex North the two Alexes um, and these are some of my favorite books ever. Love those books. And then I have my Riley Sager collection, as well as my Grady Hendrix collection. Will be keeping those. Then I have Alice Feeney, another Alex Michaelides. Keeping those. 
And then I have Stephen King, Joe Hill, Caroline Kepnes. So I am keeping this whole shelf because this is one of my favorite shelves. So I've kind of curated it to keep all of these. This next shelf is also another one of my favorites. So I probably won't be getting rid of a lot on here. So I have like House of Salt and Sorrow, uh, Wicked Fox, A Curse of Dark and Lonely, the Sky Hunter series, Illuminae, um, An Ember in the Ashes, Three Dark Crowns, All of Us Villains, The Naturals, all of my favorites, but I do have two copies of House of Roots and Ruin because I ordered the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition and it got lost, so I reordered another copy. They sent me one and so now I have two. So I don't need both of these, so I will be getting rid of one of them. Now at the final two shelves on this big bookshelf, I have the selection series I will be keeping and then I have my Katrina Leno Shrine, which I will be keeping all of those books. Um, and then I have The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, will be keeping, and all of my Maze Runner. So again, these are like a lot of my favorites, so I'm not getting rid of all, any of them. And then down here, there might be a few that I get rid of down here. So a lot of this is like romance. I know it's hard for you to see, but I literally cannot go lower. So a lot of these I might be getting rid of. So let's see. <laughs> this is going to be a big deal if I get rid of this. So Fangirl. I remember loving it but I'm just not connected anymore. I'm just not drawn to it. So, fangirl, I think I'm gonna have to say goodbye. So next I have two copies of Five Feet Apart. So I have the original and the movie cover because I love the story and I was obsessed with both the book and the movie, but I think I can part with the movie cover. I really don't need it, um, but I love this copy and I love the book, so I will be keeping this one, but parting with the other one. After that, I have They Both Die at the End and If I Stay, so I'll keep that. Um, I am going to keep Mosquito Land. I didn't love this one, but David Arnold is one of my favorite authors of all time, and this edition's actually signed somewhere in here. Yeah, this one's signed, and so I want to keep it because I love him, even if I didn't love this book in particular. So I have an Evernight copy of Do Your Worst. Love this book, so I will be keeping it. Um, the rest of these... I might actually be keeping. I said I was going to get rid of a lot on the shelf. But here I have like Christina Lauren, Huntley Fitzpatrick, Ali Hazelwood, Ashley Poston, like my faves. So I'm definitely keeping those. Okay, I have The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. And I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to keep it for now. And in the future, I might get rid of this one because I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. I still give it four stars. So I'm going to keep it. I just talked myself into keeping it. And then over here, I have Tessa Dare, which definitely keeping. I have some Colleen Hoover, which I'm keeping those. And then here I have the Gilded Ones. So the first one is the Gilded Ones and the Merciless Ones. And I love this book. These covers are so beautiful. I love this book. I hated this book. So the reason why I kept onto this one was because of the cover. But I'm going to unhaul this first book. I'm going to keep, or the second book. I'm going to keep the first one, unhaul the second one. Because this was five stars. The second one was one star. So I only need this one. So... We are at the TBR cart. So now these are all books that I haven't read yet. So here we have this one. I never know if it's The Huntress or C. I think it's C. This is by Sarah Driver. Um, I think, yes, this one is signed. And I bought this one when I lived in London. I love the cover because it's so foily. But I don't think I'm going to keep it. I've had it since 2017. And I still haven't read it. And I'm just never drawn to reading it. So I think I'm going to unhaul this one. It's hard unhauling like books that you got on trips. So these three are the last three books in the Chronicles of Ixia, which is like the third trilogy in the Poison Study series. I'm going to keep them for now. I'm still undecided if I'm going to read them or not since I hated the last book so much. I still don't know because this one follows different characters. So I might continue it. We'll see. Then I have The Inheritance Games, uh, Better Than the Movies, Thunderhead, Nearly Gone, Nonchalantly, Truly Devious, The Stranded, Truly Madly Deadly, and Dark and Shallow Lies. So all of these, all, like on the front, are books that I want to read immediately. So obviously I'm keeping those. These ones, also probably keeping all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely keeping all of them. This shelf down here. Can you see them? So I have like Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld. Then I have The Diviners and then Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Dance of Thieves, A Song of Wraiths and Ruin. So these series right here, 
are some of the ones that I'm thinking about like doing a vlog reading the first book in series to decide if I'm going to continue on or unhaul and some of these series down here is I don't know if I want to read all of them but I want to at least try the first one to see if I actually like it or not so let me know if you want to see that vlog because then I can do it sooner rather than later Okay, I got it turned around. So these books, I'm still probably going to keep most of these. So I have like Jennifer L. Armentrout, um, The Winner's Curse, Hush Hush Fallen. So a lot of these I'm probably going to keep for now. This one I really want to read, but this is the third book in a series. But I really want to read that one. I think it's like Vampires, so I'm keeping it. Um, here I have Chaos Walking, Fire, mm, Fire and Ash. Oh, this is a zombie book. The problem is this is like book book two or something. I don't know. It's not the first book, but I do need a zombie book in my life. So I'm going to keep that one, I guess. Um, not as exciting if I'm keeping it, but I'm keeping it. So I also have like this savage song, um, some sci-fi on here, Alexander Bracken. So I'm going to keep these for now. And then down here I have Brandon Sanderson. This series is one that I've never heard anyone talk about. And it's the Steelheart series. This is another one where I want to read the first book to see if I want to continue on or not. And then I have it Nevermore, um, what is it? Nevermore and Furthermore. Oh my gosh, English teacher vibes or what? And then I have some nonfiction and Dracula, so I will be keeping all these. So I think I only got rid of one book on my TBR cart, but I mean, that's still progress. Okay, this last shelf on this wall. We still have three more shelves after this, but on this wall, it's the last one. And this is like my nostalgia shelf. So let's see if I can be ruthless, but a lot of these I still feel deeply connected to. So here we have the Shiver series. I'm keeping those. I actually read these like in adulthood. Still keeping them. Uh, the Mara Dyer series, keeping. The Paranormal Sea series by Kirsten White, definitely keeping. Love those. Then I have The Storm and H2O. These are dystopian. Love these books. And then my Marie Lou Legend series. Love those so much. And then I have The Fifth Wave. So I love, love, love The Fifth Wave. But these last two books are not great. Um, I love the first book, but these last ones are not great. And let me just see because I met Rick Yancey. Okay, so I think only the first book is signed, which makes me feel like I can get rid of these. I don't have to like feel bad. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna make moves here. I'm gonna get rid of The Infinite Sea and The Last Star because I do not like these books. I actually reread this series last year and I still do not like these two. Don't get me wrong, I love Fifth Wave. But for the foreseeable future, this is a standalone. These don't even exist. Okay, this next shelf, lots of dystopian. Dystopian is like my favorite genre, so I will always love dystopian. So here we have the 100. I think I'm gonna keep those for now. Didn't love them, but I still, I still want them on my dystopian shelf. Then I have the Divergent series, definitely keeping. I have Reboot and Rebel, which super underhyped dystopian duology, love them. It gives Katniss and Peeta vibes, let me tell you. Then I have the Of Poseidon trilogy. This is a mermaid trilogy, which I love. Shadow and Bone, which surprisingly, I love Shadow and Bone. I hate Six of Crows. That's already been gone for a while, but I love Shadow and Bone. And then I have Shatter Me. Why are these backwards? Who did this here? I'm gonna keep Shatter Me, but I think I am gonna get rid of this one. This is A Very Large Expanse of Sea, which is uh, Tejada Mafi's contemporary. Oh, it's signed. Yep, I forgot. I'm at Tahata Mafi, but I'm still gonna get rid of it. So if you want a signed Tahata Mafi, I got you right here. It is personalized to me, but there you go. All right, moving on to more nostalgia books, but I feel like I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of these. I know you've heard that before, but trust me. So here we have this arc, which I'm gonna get rid of. This is Forged in Fire and Stars. This was one of my first arcs ever. This is also really big, but I did not like this one. I won't be continuing with the series, so I do not need it. Now, here I have this monstrous thing, Daughter of Deep Silence, and the program. I will be keeping those for now, but this year, or last year, I did unhaul the rest of the program series. Next, I have Anna Dress and Blood, Scythe. I will be keeping those. Um, when I Was the Greatest. I forgot that title. When I Was the Greatest, I'm going to unhaul. It is signed and personalized to me, but I will be unhauling it, so if you want a signed copy, there you go. Next one, I also am going to unhaul. This is Cinderella's Dress. Um, it was okay. Um, my mom's best friend is friends with the author, so I actually have it um, signed and personalized to my mom's friend. <laughs> but I do have this one as well signed, um, but I'm not going to keep it. Red Rising, I'm going to keep for now. I read that one 
a while ago and I didn't love it, but I am thinking about rereading it to see if I would enjoy it more. The Martian, I'm gonna keep. This one, I don't know if I wanna keep this. This is The Adoration of Jenna Fox. And the problem is, it's signed. And Mary E. Pearson wrote The Remnant Chronicles, like Kiss of Deception, which is one of my favorite series of all time. And so I feel like I need to keep this just because it's Mary E. Pearson. So I'm gonna keep that one because it's signed. Love and Gelato, I'm gonna keep. This one, The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. I'm gonna unhaul this one, but it is also signed down here and personalized because I did meet her. Man, I am like cutthroat. I'm like unhauling books that I like met the author. So these five books, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna unhaul five books here. These are all signed. I wanted to give away several years ago and I did read all of these. So I have, what is this called? The Shortest Distance Between Love and Hate. These are by Sandy Hall. Then I have A Prom to Remember. Been Here All Along, Signs Point to Yes, and A Little Something Different. So I am going to unhaul all five of these books, and all five of them are signed. Then I have Winger and Standoff, and I loved these books when I read them, but I'm not connected to them anymore. I am never going to reread them, so I do not think I need them. And these ones as well are signed. I know Winger is for sure. Let me see if Standoff is also signed. I think just Winger. Yes, just Winger is signed, but I will be unhauling both of these. And then the last one here is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I am keeping that, but look how much space here. Okay, now the bottom shelf. And I feel like I'm going to unhaul a lot from here too. So a lot of these are like more nonfiction um, and like a Bible study type things. So let's see here. I will be keeping this, Run to Overcome, but I think I'm going to unhaul BuzzFeed Unsolved. Actually, <laughs> okay, listen, I was going to unhaul this because I DNF'd it, but I think I'm going to keep it because this is actually a really good like travel guide if you want to go to haunted places. So I'm going to keep that one actually. Just disregard everything I say ever. All right, I'm going to unhaul this copy of Holes. I do have a second copy, but I don't need two copies. So that one is going as well. And then I think I'm going to haul, unhaul these two Christmas books. I read them, but these aren't ones that I'm going to reread. So I'm going to get rid of these. This is Christmas Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses and The Christmas Town. They were cute, but I don't need to reread them. And then these ones, do I want to get rid of these? Why not me? And is everyone hanging out without me? The problem is these are both signed because I met Mindy Kaling, but I hated these books. So it's signed. So maybe I'll keep one of them. So that way I have her signature. There you go. What, which one do I like? Which one do I like better? I think I'm going blue vibes, blue vibes, blue vibes. So I'm going to keep this one and unhaul this one. They're signed. So there you go. And the last book on the shelf I'm going to un unhaul is Rhett and Link's Book of Mythicality. Um, I used to love Rhett and Link, but their channel direction kind of changed. And so I don't really watch them anymore. So I don't think I want to keep this. Okay, so these two shelves here are like my favorites of all time. So there will not be a lot of unhauling until like the lower ones. I think I'm going to unhaul some books. But here, I just wanted to show you. Here we have like all my Rick Rare Warden. And then here we have The Remnant Chronicles, Behind This Ghost, and then Vampire Academy and all of those books, Rochelle Mead. And then here is Harry Potter, here is Harry Potter, here is Harry Potter. And then here we have like The Lunar Chronicles and The Lux series. So all of these shelves, keeping all of them. So let me take you down to the lower ones because I think there might be a few I'm going to part with. Okay, again, these two will not be unhauling from. This is all my Hunger Games, like... I have a million sets of Hunger Games and then also Gregor the Overlander. So these are like my Susie and Collins and then all of this is Twilight. So these bottom shelves we're going to take a look at. So looking at this bottom shelf, it's a lot of romance. So we have some a few adult over here and then young adult over here. So Masters of Death, I am keeping that. Then we have a lot of foodie romances over here. So Love from Scratch, love that one, we'll be keeping. I think I'm gonna unhaul this one. I love this cover, Fake Dates and Mooncakes, but I didn't love it. I think I only gave it three stars, so I'm gonna unhaul this one. All of these foodie romances are in vlogs. I'm gonna keep Donut Fall in Love, The Christmas Clash. I don't think I need to keep this one. I think I gave it like three stars. So I think I'm gonna unhaul this one as well. I can't believe I'm unhauling those because I would love to keep them, but I don't need them. Um, a Sweet Mess. I hated this book, so it is going for sure. A Faux Love Story, one of my favorites. Love that one. I'm going to keep The Donut Trap. 
beach read. Listen, this is the only Emily Henry book that I like, but I hate her books. So I'm going to unhaul this one because I don't want her on my shelf. So I have Anna and the French Kiss, that trilogy, The Hating Game. Oh my gosh, I forgot I own The Hating Game. I love that for me. Then I have the two All the Boys I Loved Before. And then I also have the movie editions of the first two to All the Boys I Loved Before books. And I was collecting the movie editions, but I never got the third one. So I think I'm going to unhaul these two movie editions because I have the originals. So I don't need these ones. So unhauling those. And then I have... Um, the Summer Trilogy by Jenny Han, and then I have a bunch of Sarah Dessen books. So I am gonna unhaul some of these. <laughs> so I love Sarah Dessen, and I'm on a mission to read all of her books. I've read most of them, but I have started from her beginning, and her beginning is not very good. So I'm gonna unhaul some of these. I have to remember though which ones I loved and which ones I didn't. So just switching sides, her very first book that summer, I am unhauling this one for sure did not like that one um someone like you let me see the world is a terrible place not to have a best friend oh uh, yeah i hated this one getting rid of that one next i have the truth about forever macy oh yeah this is the catering one i love this one so i am keeping that one just listen i also love this one so i'm keeping that lock and key unlock your heart and the rest will follow let's see um mm. I don't think I remember this one, so I'm gonna unhaul that one. Um, Along for the Ride, love this one, keeping this one. What Happened to Goodbye, keeping The Moon and More, I'm keeping. And then the last three are Say Anything Once and For All and the rest of the story, which I am keeping. So I am getting rid of three Sarah Dessen books. Okay, moving on to this final bottom shelf over here. I have my Morgan Matson books, which I'm keeping. I have my young adult Ashley Poston, which I am definitely keeping, and they are signed. <laughs> I love her. And then I have all of my John Green and David Levithan books and then Casey West, which I will be keeping the majority of these. However, there are a few that I think I can part with. So I have two copies of The Fault in Our Stars. One of them signed and one of them is not. This one is not signed, so I don't think I need both of the copies. So I'm going to unhaul the unsigned one. And I think that's all I'm going to unhaul from the shelf. I might eventually unhaul the David Levithan books, but not quite yet. But that is progress. Okay, this is the final shelf in my room and the lighting is great over here. I don't know why because it's very awkward to film in front of because it's literally in a corner. I'm sitting in a corner right now um, and I only have a few to go over. So this top one that you can't even see, I'm not unhauling anything from there because those are also like immediate TBR books. And then here we have like graphic novels and manga as well as <laughs> NCT photo cards. So let's take off NCT first. Um, look at this one of Johnny. Okay, anyway, so here I have uh, Coven and Heartstopper. These are two of my favorite graphic novels. I'm keeping those. Then I have some Kieran Millen Har Hargrave books, which I'm keeping. I'm going to keep Death Note, but these ones I don't think I need to keep. So this is Orange. This is the very first manga I ever read. It's very popular, but I'm never going to revisit it. So I think I'm going to unhaul that as well as Yona and the Dawn. Yona and the Dawn. I don't like this. A lot of people love, 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 love the series. It gives me the ick. She likes her cousin. No. Okay. The rest, happiness, I'm keeping. And then let's see if I can move. These are all classics. Now, I hate classics, says the English teacher. I don't like classics, but I'm keeping them. Because a lot of these are from, like, Souvenir. So a lot of them are, like, Bronte sisters, so I got at the Bronte Parsonage. A lot of them are Shakespeare, so I got at Stratford-upon-Avon. I do like Shakespeare though, um, but I am keeping all of those. And then we have the very last shelf I have to show you because down here is all K-pop albums. This is my last shelf. So a lot of these are like classics, nonfiction, and history books. So first, my signed CD. Okay. Um, first, this book is not mine. So I don't want that. <laughs> I need to give that back. Um, and then these books... I'm gonna unhaul these. So I got these when I lived in London. So we have Medieval Britain, the Anglo-Saxon Age, and Roman Britain. So this was for my history class. So I don't need those anymore. Um, I think I'm gonna unhaul, these two go together. So this is Messenger and Son by Lois Lowry. These are from the Giver series, but to me, the Giver is a standalone, so I don't need these. I actually never read them, but they're not even on my TBR shelf because I'm just not gonna read them. So I don't need them. 
And the rest here, I have a ton of London books. So I have like Walking in London, London Book of Lists, A Travel Guide to London, and I will be keeping those. I also have two Henry VIII books, which Henry VIII is like my Roman Empire, so I'm keeping that. I have Jack the Ripper. So I have Robin Hood, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Peter Pan, The Secret Garden. I will be keeping those because they're like beautiful editions of classics, even if I don't like them. I think I'm going to get rid of this. So this is The Mysterious Affair of Styles by Agatha Christie. I bought this one in South Africa, but I think I'm going to give it to my mom because I don't like Agatha Christie, but my mom does. So I can give her this one. And I think that's all. So I have over here like um, The Outsiders. Love that. I have The Chronicles of Narnia, The Color Purple. Over here I have my penguin year. It's so cute. And then I also have like Where the Sidewalk Ends. But I think that is it for the unhaul. So now I need to count all of the books. So let me show you what my room currently looks like. I have all of these books on my bed and then all of these on the floor. Oh my goodness. Okay. The unhauling has been done, damage has been done, and I am unhauling 75 books, which is a big deal for me. I have not done an unhaul like this before, and I am so excited. I am actually feeling so good. However, I am not looking forward to listing all of these on Pango because that's going to take a very long time. But if you are interested in any of these books, my Pango is always linked down below. I already have books on there, and these will be added on there over time, not all at once because that's gonna take a long time. Um, but yes, if you're interested in any of these books, go look on there. So that is it for this video, 75 books lighter. But if you have made it this far through this chaos, I know this video was kind of chaotic and I lost myself along the way, but we ended up here. If you've made it this far, go ahead and leave the book stack emoji. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, all my social media links will be down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.